Hello everyone, and welcome back to DMG. Today I have a server drive from a company I've never bought a single drive from, let alone a server drive. Fujitsu. Now this is a 300 gigabyte, 15,000 RPM hard drive, and I thought it would be especially interesting to test this drive since it's the first Fujitsu drive I've ever bought. Now the design of this drive is very interesting. On the top it just looks like pretty much any other server drive. Of course you've got your smaller platters here, but you flip it over and that's when things get interesting. First of all, look at the size of the package on the controller chip. It's absolutely huge. Then here is our memory, that's our cache, and uh, I believe that's DDR2 memory. That is the same chip series that's used on my G4 6800 for uh, video memory. Then here is our motor. It's interesting to see the contacts oriented like that. This big white box is all filter. It has a massive air intake here. And then this piece here, that's literally just a solid metal block that is screwed onto the drive. I took it off and it indeed is solid all the way through, and it goes all the way up to the lid. I don't know what metal that is, but it is very dense. Like, just this weighs maybe a pound or so. And I'm, I'm not kidding there. So that's for vibration reduction and uh, balancing out the weight of the drive. For the purpose of vibration reduction. That's probably also what this extra metal piece here is for. So this is a very heavy-duty, well-built drive. With that said, let's pop it in the caddy and run some tests and see if its speed lives up to its build quality. Now, I'm most interested in comparing it to the 73GB HGSD Ultrastar 15K that I tested a little while back, but I will also compare it to one of the 10K drives in my server. But without any further ado, Let's pop it in a caddy and see how it performs. And it's comparison time. I've ran some benchmarks on the uh, 300 gigabyte 15K Fujitsu drive, and here are our results. And uh, they're absolutely fantastic, I will just say. So for comparison over here, I have the 400 gigabyte drive from my server, and that's the fastest 10K drive I have. And uh, I also saved some results from the uh, Hitachi 15K drive I have. So let me pull those up for comparison. Now this drive actually doesn't manage to be quite as fast as the Hitachi 10K, or sorry, 15K drive, the 73 gigabyte one I tested a little while ago, although it still manages some pretty fast performance. It's about 30 IO per second slower than the Hitachi drive, but it's, uh, let's see, what is that? Oh, it's actually on par with the Seagate, but faster in 4K. So it's faster than the 10K drive in that larger block. Let's see, it's also faster than the 10K in that larger block. And uh, yeah, so in everything but 512 bytes, it's a good bit faster than the 10K drive. Although it's still a little bit slower than that uh, 15K Ultrasar I tested a little while back. Now here are our uh, tests like random seek, cache, that kind of thing. It's interesting, this is the only drive I've ever seen that the cache speed steadily increases after the initial drop. Uh, well, this one does it as well, but it's much more gradual. This one is uh, pretty sharp on the Fujitsu drive. It really does increase, and that's interesting. We have a very sharp drop here in the speed, our average is 102.3 megabytes per second, but we drop briefly down to the high 20s, despite being around, like, between 75 and 100 until then. So our uh, sequential speeds are very high for a, uh, a high RPM drive, and it does beat out the Hitachi 15K there that I tested a little while ago. You usually don't see sequentials this high on a 15K drive, usually it's randoms. And uh, of course our randoms are very, very fast. So that is uh, 
to be expected from a high RPM drive. So these are pretty interesting results. This is definitely going to be a drive that I end up deploying in one of my servers because it seems very fast. And uh, yeah, I like Fujitsu drives now because I've never tested one of these <laughs> before now. And uh, I can say that they are a good contender to my Seagate and my WD drives. But that's it for this one. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, I have a lot more hard drive content if that interests you, so uh, check back with the channel. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.